Hello everyone. In today's video, I will be talking about periodic table and specifically I will be discussing group numbers. So what is periodic table? Periodic table is a table where all the elements are classified on the basis of the ascending order of their atomic numbers. All of you must have an idea about ascending order. In ascending order, we put things from smaller to bigger. So all the elements are, are assigned an atomic number and in periodic table, all the elements are classified according to the ascending order of the atomic numbers. For example, the first element is hydrogen with atomic number one, then helium two, lithium three, beryllium four, boron five, carbon six, nitrogen seven, oxygen eight, fluorine nine, neon 10, sodium 11, magnesium 12, aluminum 13, and so on. So all these elements are classified on the basis of their atomic numbers and especially on the basis of ascending order of their atomic numbers. So in periodic table, we have vertical columns and these vertical columns are known as groups. For example, this is first group. And we have eight A groups and eight B groups, but, but most of the times we discuss A groups. So we, over here, I have highlighted group one, group five, group seven, just to show you that these vertical columns are known as groups. Then we have periods. Horizontal rows are known as periods. For example, over here we have seven periods and in the first period you can see we have two elements while in the second period we have lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon. But over here I have just highlighted two periods, period number three and period number five. So the group number basically always shows you the number of electrons that will be present in the outermost shell. For example, if we discuss lithium, lithium is an element placed in group 1A with atomic number 3. As I have discussed in my previous videos that atomic number shows the number of electrons and the number of protons. So it has atomic number 3, so lithium has 3 protons present inside the nucleus and three electrons revolving around the nucleus. But as it is placed in group 1A, it is going to have just one electron in its outermost shell. On the right hand side, you can see this is the atomic structure of lithium where there are two shells. First shell contain two electrons and the second shell is the outermost shell and it contain one electron. This is the reason it is placed in group 1A. And all the elements in group 1A, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium, all of these elements have different atomic numbers, but they have same number of electrons, one electron in their outermost shell. In the similar way, I have shared another example of sulfur that has symbol S and it is placed in group 6. Atomic number is 16, so it has 16 electrons and 16 protons in an atom. But as it is placed in group 6A, so sulfur is going to have six electrons in its outermost shell. On the right hand side, this is the atomic structure and I have highlighted the outermost, elect uh, outermost shell electrons. It has six electrons in the outermost shell and all other elements in group 6A, all, all of them have different atomic numbers, but they have six electrons in their outermost shell. In the group 7A elements, all the elements in group 7A have seven electrons present in their outermost shell, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. They have different number of electrons as they have different atomic number, but they all are placed in group 7A. So they all have seven electrons in their outermost shell. Now at the end, we are just going to discuss how the groups are named. The group 1A is named as alkali metals. Group 2A is named as alkaline earth metals. Group 7A is named as halogens. And group 8A is named as noble gases or inert gases. And we also call this group 8A as a group zero. Halogens are named as halogen. Halo means salt. So all these elements in group 7A are involved in the formation of salts. For example, even the salt that we use in our daily life in our food is sodium chloride and in sodium chloride, we have a chlorine. So all the uh, salts have one element from group 7A. They are involved in the formation of salts. This is the reason 
the group 7a is also known as halogens group 0 is known as noble gases or inert gases uh, basically group 8a is known as group 0 or we call it noble gases or inert gases why because as they are placed in group 8a they have eight electrons in their outermost shell and uh, according to the octet rule octet rule says that outermost shell should contain eight electrons for the stability so all the elements that have eight electrons in their outermost shell are very stable and they don't react with other elements because they don't need electrons they already have eight electrons they are very stable this is the reason they are very unreactive so they are unreactive because they have complete outermost shell with eight electrons and this is the reason they are very stable and they don't react with other elements while all the elements from group one to group seven don't have their outermost shell complete they don't have eight electrons in their outermost shell this is the reason they are always ready to react with other elements so they could have eight electrons in their outermost shell and they could become stable and at the end we you just uh, remember you can just remember the octet rule as word octa always means eight you can remember it through octopus octopus has eight legs eight arms so octa always means eight and octagon is also a shape with eight sides the word octa in science means eight so octet rule states that for the stability their atoms should have eight electrons in their outermost shell if the atom has eight electrons it is very stable and it's very unreactive and if the atom don't have eight electrons in the outermost shell then it is going to react with the other elements so it could have eight electrons in the outermost shell i hope you have learned from my video at the end don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you